Good morning, people. Just wanted to share during my wake and bake session. I hate getting checked for ID. I think anyone that needs to see my ID has the potential to be a pedophile. Man or woman. Say like if you work in a liquor store. And I'm approaching you with a pack of course light. If you can ballpark my age group without seeing my ID. How can we trust you around our children? You are age blind. You sick freak. Okay, I understand it's important to uh, check ID. I just don't like when they have to think about it. You know what I mean? For one, I'm a seasoned man. Pull up, bear fridge, cash register, done. I know what I came for. Teenagers don't know what to drink. They don't care what to drink as long as it gets them drunk like mommy and daddy. I saw this little girl in the liquor store one time. And I could tell she was underage, even though she looked older, because I have that skill, that skill that separates regular people from R. Kelly. This girl was nervous. Like anyone that's not used to a lot of drink choices and potentially carrying a fake ID. And she had with her what I assume was Chaser, two Capri Sun juice packets, grape flavored. Big people don't buy Capri Suns. Y'all didn't even know they still make Capri Suns. So I waited. Just to see if the cashier would let this bitch get away with this. The cashier was an old Asian dude. Safe to assume he was from China. She got a white wine in the end. And I could see her shaking as she took out that fake out of area ID. She went up. The clerk gave her no hassle. I went up with my cause light, showed him my ID, and he paused just a little too long for my liking. All I said was, what is there to think about? This dude immediately said, why you get so upset? Now, I'm not sure what level of blackness I was on at the time, but this dude was terrified. I said, dude, I'm upset because... You just sold wine to an underage girl with a Capri Sun juice packet and an ID that says Okeechobee and you dangling too long on my ID. You should be able to look at me and be like, this nigga been through some shit. He said, I don't want to say nigga.